Today we're going to be going through all of our power skill checks for in the level one. And we're going to also do our warm up and our armor down at the end. So you could do this as a full workout in most of our current campaign quests. This is objective two, but you can also use this as a reference point. Now I'm going to be playing on the legendary mode. So that's full out with lots of, with um, extra weight. Today I'll be using two dumbbells and a kettlebell in the athletics one and some of the stamina. Um, but feel free to use whatever equipment or no equipment. Remember, there are lots of different difficulties. You can kind of see them broken down here. Um, and you can go to our YouTube to see the videos that go over all the different breakdowns. But again, this is mostly meant to be just kind of a, um, a workout that you can either follow or you can skip around. Also, my players know this, but for you, if you are watching this live, we're going to go through all of them. But on the YouTube channel, what you'll be able to do is based off your character and your and your character is based off of your goals, you can jump around. So um, a lot of people are doing a dex-based character. So they're doing the constitution and look at this. <laughs> they're doing the constitution checks and then they're specializing in dexterity. So what I recommend is you, if you are gonna skip around, go in this same order. So do the dex check and then skip strength and go to the con. But of course, make sure you do your armor up and your armor. Yeah. We're going to start off with our armor up. Level, level one quest, objective two, power. Hero, prepare to armor up. Up next, seated fold for 20 seconds. Three, two, one, seated fold. Go ahead and start turning into your breath. As you can see, I'm doing this in very small space. Up next, low lunge right for 20 seconds. Three, two, Step your right one. leg forward. Low lunge right. This lunge, we're focusing on stretching the back of this front leg. Up next, lunge right for 20 seconds. Three, two, one, high lunge right. Come on up. Now we're focusing on stretching the front of that back leg. Up next, low lunge left for 20 seconds. Three, two, one, low lunge left. Remember, you don't need to hit a deep, deep stretch. We're just trying to wake this part. Up next, up. high lunge left for 20 seconds. Three, two, one. High lunge left. And up. Up next, hip 90 to 90 for 20 seconds. Three. Two, one, hip 90 to 90. So with this we sit, we put our legs into those 90 degrees, or work on rolling. If you're on a standing or seated position, you're just going to twist your legs. Three, two, one, hip 90 to 90 stretch. In your thigh, come on up, wide legs, stretch the inner legs. Up next, standing cat slash cow hops for 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Standing cat slash cow hugs. Oh. Inhale, open that chest. Exhale, close it off. Open those arms nice and wide. Up next, shoulder rolls forward alternating for 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Shoulder rolls forward alternating. Up next, elbow crawl for 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Elbow crawl. Up next, arm swim for 10 seconds. Three, two, one. And arm swim. Arms. 
Up next, shoulder rolls back same time for 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Shoulder rolls back same time. Up next, elbow crawl for 10 seconds. Maybe you just listen to me. Now we're going to do our elbows. Up. Now wolf arms. Then we're going to our rope climb side stretch. Arm goes up. Arm goes up. Arm goes up. Next, we're moving on to the neck. So it's like we climb a rope. Now we're just looking. Oh. Looking for guards. Now we're going to take that twisting action due to our spine. It's a front back. Throw it in all different directions. Now we need to draw our sword and shield. So we're going to reach our arms big up, big circles, opposite, reach behind our back. Trying to get as far as we can. All right, then you're gonna go into a lunge. Do what I call a light lunge tag. Really work on shifting your weight forwards and backwards. Now you're gonna go into big attack, so it's like you're winding up a baseball bat. Really feel that drag through back. And switch sides, light tag. Going for the big hits in three, two, one. Big wind up. All right, now we're going to what I call paddle squats. So it's just like a bottom weight squat, where you're reaching up across, down below. And now big ones. So we're going to look and reach if it's comfortable, or you're going to stick to those little ones. Last one. And other side. Three. Now heavy. Oh, I'm a little ahead of myself. Ready? And heavy now. All right. Now we're going to armor check level one. So we're going to go through our main uh, movements for level one. It's our stamina movements. We're actually going to do later. This is a great way to just sort of check and kind of step up our warm up. So we're gonna start off with 10 squats. 10 body weight squats. No need to go all the way to the floor, just 90 degrees. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Now we're going to do rows. You can either do no weight, or if you have weight handy, you can go for it. Just practice. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're seeing how we're feeling, what's sore. Anything speaking to us that we're like, ooh, that's a little different. Now we need 10 hip hinges, so it's like a deadlift, but with no weight. Really work on hinging at the hip. Maybe you touch ground, maybe you don't. Don't focus on that. Actually focus on keeping a straight body and hinging at the hip. To feel stretch in the back of your legs. And again, don't round your back and droop your shoulders. Pull them arms back into their sockets. Uh, I think I got one more. Now we're going to do 10 push ups. Your difficulty level. I'm going to the floor.
Next, we're going to do our dead bug series. So maybe you're on the floor, maybe you're on a feet. Dead bug march. Well, I'll go sideways. Good dead bug position, but now you're reaching your ankles to the floor. Which, of course, you can't see. And maybe you're reaching your arms to touch also. Now we're going to the side in three, two, one. Woo. You're just kind of balancing on your side of your body. Three, two, one, switch sides. Three, two, one, regular dead bug. Got the button towards the spine, low back. Low back is flat to the ground. If it's comfortable, you're in legendary, you got your knees above your hips, elbows above your head. Three, two, one, rest. All right. So first skill check we're gonna be doing is agility. It's our decks. You won't need any equipment, you're just gonna need room to space, room to move. So for uh, Avenger or Explorer, you'll be doing the seated and you'll just be working on marching, or not marching, but yeah, you're in a marching pace for all these different movements. Adventure, you're standing and doing like a marching and a quick marching pace. For Heroic, you're doing a marching and a jogging pace. And Legendary, you're with me, we're doing marching and sprinting pace. So it's a good number of different movements. Just follow along with me. You can see the different modifiers talk about um, whether we are doing these only one set and stationary. We're gonna do leg, uh, plus four modifiers. So we are gonna do three circuits of it and we're gonna be doing it moving through space even though I got a tiny bit of space. All right, 10 seconds. So we're going to start off with 10 seconds of high knee march. We'll have like 10 seconds of a marching pace, a slower pace. And then we're going to have like a five second quick pace. Three, two, one, quick. Three, two, one, press. Next we're doing butt kickers. So again, 10 seconds, really work on, oh man, you see how tight my quad is tight. Just working on firing those. Now we're going into a run, go. And rest. Next we're doing skateboards. This is something I made up. You're gonna balance on one leg, you're gonna kick forward, kick back. And we're just going one side and then the other. And switch from the front. Oh, we're going to kick something. Feel free to use something to help balance. Good. Next, back pedal. Little squat, back pedal. Means we're doing little steps. Rest, backward run. We're doing big step backwards. Backward run. I have no room in here. Rest. Now we're going to do what's called taps. We've just done the legs, now we're popping up the upper, uh, upper body. So you're going to stand and you're going to do this motion. You ready? Yep. So then we're going tap slow. Then we're going to go fast again. As fast as you can. Press. Now we're going to do what I call gathers. There we go. Three, two, one. Fast. Three, two, one. Rest. 30 second rest. Short rest. A lot of moves. Just follow along. Now you can just watch me and do less talk. So if you are just doing a plus one modifier, you'll stay in place and you would just be done now. And skip ahead to the next one.
Otherwise, we got two more goes. I need March. Ready? This is almost like a dynamic stretch. Dynamic. Three, two, one, print. Black kickers, ready? March. I have a lot of people who are like, oh, I live on the second floor. I can't do this. You should be quiet. You should not make too much noise. And sprint, go. Good. Skateboards. Skateboard left. And right. Back pedal coming up. Those are those short steps with our feet in front of us. So they look like this. Oh, a little space. Versus a backward run where I reach back. And try not to kick anything. We get about two steps in. Taps ready. Slow. Three, two, one, fast. Three, two, one, good rest. Gathers. Slow. Notice that I'm not doing big twisting, I'm keeping my chest in place. Three, two, one, let this be in the arms. <laughs> And make your torso stay in control. Like that core. Cool. Another 30 second short rest, and we go into the next one. I don't know about you, but I had a lot of going on in my head, working, and it feels good to finally be moving. Sometimes you just gotta let it go, move the body to get it out. Five seconds, tiny march. Here we go. And sprint, go. Less butt kickers. And fast in three, two, one, go. And skateboard's coming up. Left side. Wrong side. Go. Don't mess your back up doing this. <laughs> and right side. Don't fall. All right, back pedal. Little steps, legs in front, and go. 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 All right, backward run. Two, one. Oh. Reach. Kick, kick. You can also do this in place. Kick, kick. Relax. Steps. Low. Go. It's like we're doing battle rope, but with no rope. And fast, go. And relax. Last set of gathers. And then we'll be done with our agility check. Three, two, one, go. Rest. One minute rest. For our power skills, we're doing a long rest between each one. That's 90 seconds or until your heart rate gets back to normal. 
powers about explosion. It's about the only. We want our bodies to recover so they can fully blast out so we get the most bang and we don't get into this like weird, just gelatinous cruising. All right. Athletics. So for athletics, level one, we're going to be doing swings, squat jumps, and what I call shove offs. So swings typically are traditionally done with a kettlebell. I will do that in round two, but round one, I'm going to be doing it with a pair of dumbbells so you can see what that looks like um jump squat jumps you know just need space and then shove offs are like kind of like clapping push-ups um you can do it against a wall push off you can do it against something lower um, i'm gonna be doing it on the floor with my knees down because that's where uh, that's my level right now so it's like i would call it like heroic. anywho the modifiers for athletics is takes us through the progressions. So round one, I'm going to show you each modifier so you can see the progressions and then that way you can kind of tell where you want to start and stop. Remember, difficulty levels tell us about how supported we are, how um, how challenged we are balance wise and, every, and range of motion. Modifiers increase the difficulty within those difficulties. I know it's a lot, but if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, you know a lot of rules anyways. Right on, let's get to athletics. So, I'm gonna do this with first one dumbbell. So, again, I'm gonna show you the different modifiers. Found one with the dumbbell. This is a swing, this is to teach you so you, and build you up to doing like kettlebell swings. So let's go with one dumbbell. All right, plus one, you're doing what's called, I call it power up. It's a deadlift, but you're just going explosive on the way up. Plus two, you're gonna hang out down, you're gonna work with the catch part, this part where it comes down. Plus three, you're doing singles. And plus four, you're doing continuous. And we're only doing six of those. No, 10 of those, I'm sorry. Squat jumps. Again, we're gonna go through those. So we're gonna go through the different modifiers. Squat jumps, you have your power up squat. For the catch, you're gonna just work dropping into a squat. Dropping into a squat. Plus three, you're gonna do single ones. And plus four, you're gonna go straight through. Remember, we're only doing six of those. Now get ready for your shove offs. We're going like straight into them. So I'll do it actually from here. Plus one, power up. Plus two, we're gonna catch. So we're just gonna kind of come down. We're gonna catch ourselves. For plus three, we're doing ones. Feel free to bend your legs if it makes you feel a little more stable or even step that leg forward. And then lastly, plus four, you're doing full shell offs. All right, I'm gonna grab two on the bottom so you can see what those look like from the knee. And then we'll go on to the next one. Really, it's about that explosion push off. Now we're gonna have a long rest. Let's see what it says for a long rest. 40 seconds, okay. We'll probably cut that down to 30 seconds, but whatever. Now I really want you during these rests to rest. It's not like bodybuilding where you're gonna take five minutes to rest and you're gonna scroll on your phone. You're gonna have 30 to 40 seconds. Slow down your breathing. We want to get the oxygen flowing back to our muscles to get them fueled up so they can again explode. All right, 10 two arm swings. I'm going to the kettlebell. And I'm going to go straight from the plus four.
Notice my linking over the breath to the movement, especially in power. You really want to connect those. Going into squat jumps, just six. And six squat jumps. Have extra time, I'm just using it for extra rest. Staying loose. Catching my breath. Set up for the shove offs. Six of these. Two, one. Whoop. Kip off the rug. Thirty seconds. There's a comment from the streamer. Del Roba is in and loves the epic music. I hope it's not too loud, and I hope you can actually still hear me. All right. Last circuit. Two arm swings. And go. Oh, I should show you from the side. Alright. Six squat jumps. Ready? Two. One, go, nice and soft. Don't be hurt. My downstairs neighbors has a baby. Oh, wait, baby. <laughs> Set up your shove offs. I'll try to shove this from the side. You just won't see my legs. <laughs> All right, we have a one minute rest coming up as we have concluded our athletics level one. Yeah. It was a strength power check. Okay. So lastly, we're going into our constitution power skill check, stamina. For stamina, this is a bit more cruising. It's a circuit. You're basically gonna go from one movement into the next, into the next, into the next. The difficulties, uh, the difficulties are our general explorer seated, mimicking the movements. There's squat, there's row, there's deadlift to squeezing the butt, and push up is doing the arm motion. Dead bug, you're doing it seated here working on that core, maybe some side to side marching. For adventure, you're doing basically the movements, but you're having your support. Things to help you up, just like we did in our armor up. For support, working on getting to full range of motion. Heroic, you're doing the full range of motion, maybe some slight weight to it. And for legendary, you're going above and beyond the coffee. So, 30 seconds and we'll start into our stamina check. All right, eight seconds, we're starting off with squats. I am gonna do Oh, I forgot the modifiers. Modifiers. 
are gonna be changing the number of reps. Now, honestly, if this is your first time doing it, I recommend week one do plus one, week two do plus two, week three do plus three, and week four do plus four. In fact, you do, should do that probably with all of the skill checks. A little insider scoop. We'll be doing that in January when we go through everything all the way up to level four. Little, little scoop. Any Hoosiers. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna count out and call it out, and then in the, um, rounds two and three, I'll do all, I'll just do plus four. Starting off squat, I'm gonna do a heroic to show you that one, and then I'll do legendary. Ready? Squats. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's your plus one, seven, Eight is your plus two, nine, ten is your plus three, eleven, twelve plus four modifier. If you have extra time, you do get to breathe. Now we're going into rows. I want you doing two arm rows. And I like to do it in this lunge position. So I'm gonna do half, so we we'll go one, two, three, four. Five, six, that's my plus one. Switching legs. Seven, eight, plus two, nine, ten, plus three, eleven, twelve, plus four. I think you get it. I'm just going to count from now on. Going into deadlift. Nice flat back, arms in my leg, or arms in my legs, arms in my back. One, two, three, four. Notice I have a slight bend in my legs. My back is flat. I think that's six. Push-ups, seated, counter, floor, with knees, without knees, whatever you're doing. Now we're going straight into deadlift, and then we'll just go straight in. No breaks between the steps on this guy. All right, deadbug march. Good deadbug position. Ankles touch tap floor. If you're on legendary, hands tap floor. Side deadbug in three, two, one. Side deadbug. Continue to draw that belly button toward your spine. Two, one, switch. Regular dead bug in three, two, one, dead bug. You have 10 seconds to switch. Three, two, one. Come on up. We're going right back in. Squats. Legendary. Gauntlet. And go. Switch legs if you're doing 12. Well. 
Well then, well. Yeah, lift. Um, Ready? Three, two, one, deadlift. The weight does not have to touch the ground. I want you to go only as far as you can keep a straight back. And notice what I do have to bend my legs again. I'm gonna work on trying to straighten them a little bit more. Not fully. I think that was 12. Push ups. Two, one. Ah, watch my arm motion. You're having trouble. Notice I go forward, down, and back. I'm pushing from my toes. These are much harder than normal push-ups. Learn PE. Dead block and dead bone march. I did boom. Three, two, one, other side. Three, two, one, and ring the dead bug. Keep it up, keep it up. Three, two, one. Oh, I don't know about you, but then dead bugs are getting challenging. All right, last round. Here we go. Squats. So. Rose. If you do only have one weight, you can go off for it. Which is three, four. I recommend six. Do half of them. Well, it depends on how heavy your weight is. This is a heavy weight, so I have to break it up. Oh. Three. And switch to the inlet. Side note, one on roads is level four. Damn enough. I want you to work on even before you do odd. But if it's what you got, it's what you got. Now also notice how narrow my arms are. I'm not out wide doing that. I'm doing like a chaturanga. Keep your core turned on. If your back's hurting, try tucking your pelvis. I lost count. So I'm going for three, two, one. 
and switch fire that buff. Oh. Marching, slow your breath down. Pull that leg button down. Don't let it balloon up. Keep your low back flat. And side, dead one. Three, two, one. Switch. Other side. Oh, we just have one more dead bug after this. Three, two, one. Final dead bug. Can control your breath. Into the nose. Or out to the bow. You got the shakes. Breathe through them. Three, two, one. Relax. Rest. You've completed the hard part. Now it's the fun part. The self care part. The part everybody skips. It's the most important. Armor up, your warm up prevents you from getting injured today. Armor down, your cooldown prevents you from getting injured long term. It allows you to keep training long term. Now, I had a repair tool and it seems to have disappeared. So, excuse me while I crawl around. There you go. Don't knock the camera. Fiddlesticks. We're gonna pause, and then we get a recovery tool. Just can't buy mine. So you're going to start off, you're going to get your repair tool. We're going to spend about 20 seconds in each spot, starting with your left foot. You just put it underneath, slowly roll it around. Now you know what? Let's, uh, let's get some not so epic music. Let's get some chill music. Let's go with that. All right, back to the foot. And we're gonna move kind of fast throughout the body. So feel free to pause and get in. But once you know this rhythm, it kind of rolls through. Two, one, switch feet. Next, we're gonna do shins. It's be great if you do like sitting and you're using a theracane or even your hand. Um, but I'm going to show you on the floor. And for the shins, we're getting that nice chunk of meat on the outside of your shin bone. Lateral. If you want to be fancy. And left shin. Again, we're not trying to attack her body, we're trying to repair it. Oh. Switching shins. and see if
Excuse me while I make sure my family doesn't need me. Uh, oh, look at that. It's still does work. Oh, we're good. All right. So we're on cab left. <laughs> You know, one of the things that I really struggled with as a workaholic was getting sucked into pushing hard and working hard. And I would tell myself that it was for, for three, two, switch cabs. I would say that it was for my family or it was for what was important. I realized that those things have kind of become my focus. And being able to pause from the work, from the doing, and check in, this is working. And really check in with ourselves or what's important to us. Um, that's a real skill. And it's something that I'm constantly working on because the work is not important. The work is about supporting what's important. Three, two, one, hamstring. So I'm, I like to go right below my butt. You can go anywhere on the back of this, the top half of the leg. Next thing we're gonna go to is glutes. So that's the big meaty side. Same thing goes with our fitness. This training, it's really just there to support your body. So feel free to, and left glute, big fat meaty section. I like to just put it on the side and then kind of roll on it, make sure you're not on that bony hip. And then you can either hang out there or you can do some little movements with the and switch in two, one, switch sides. To be healthy, you don't need to spend hours in the gym. You know, some focus time is good, especially if you have specific goals or you're really trying to, to make progress or change. But I don't know about you, I got more fun stuff to do. And for the quads, we're going to that big meaty section Top of the legs. Oh, it's always the worst for me. You can go side to side, or another thing you can do is bend that leg. My quads are very tight. Three, two, one, switch sides. I know what I'm working on tonight. I'm watching TV with my lady. That's what I'm also getting to. Make sure you do fun stuff with people you love. We're not human doings, we're human beings. All right, for the chest, I like to pop up here for this. Going right here. Oh. Mm. Go into the lap. Three, two, one. Big muscle right there. It's kind of below and behind your armpit. Can you even see me now? Hold on, two swing. Now we're going to the tricep. Three, two, one. Bottom. Or I should say back. What? Oh, 
by sipping warm. So, might something a little hard to get to, but I really suggest hitting this forearm muscle. I say it all the time, but it tends to be really rough on people. I'll hit bicep too. Now we're going to switch to the right chest and go through the same series on the right side. Three, two, one, chest. I think I'll, I know until I really started making this armor down imperative, I personally would always skip the cooldown. And once I made it a priority, it was a game changer. You know, I was doing that practicing what you preach. And going to the lat, three, two, one. But it really can reduce your recovery time. It makes it so you feel better the next day. And it improves your mobility, which then improves your strength. Which then improves your con. Oh, it's all connected. Right, so, sorry, I didn't say switch. Oh man, my legs are feeling that because they're not used to doing the cold workout. Been a minute. You can tell that they want to cramp up a little bit. Be sure to hydrate, oh, bicep, and form. Hydrate. Eat, fuel up. Next, we're going to our traps, our upper back. I'm going to do that against the wall. So I'll show you where it is. I'm trying to get the ball somewhere between here and where my thumb is. So it's between the shoulder blade and the spine. For me, I like it real hot. That's where my tension is. All right, switch straps. Last thing we're gonna do is about 40 seconds of just breathing. You know, in yoga, we have Shavasana, and uh, once I started adding this to my workout classes, uh, it's really important, honestly. You come in, you rev you up, put you in that fight or flight mode in a bit, get your adrenaline pumping, and come out of it. And I'll send relax and go back to the world. So find yourself in a nice comfortable position. If you're safe, if you're comfortable, close your eyes. Let your breath be natural. Put a little bit of breath work at the end. For the next 10 seconds, just breathe. Take a big inhale through the nose, fill up your belly. Exhale, let it go. Inhale through the nose, fill up your belly, your ribs. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, fill up your belly, your ribs, your chest and back. Hold it. Exhale, release. Rock and roll heroes. That was our long form demo of our skill, our power skill checks level one. Now we have so far up to four different levels and we'll be going through all of them eventually. But uh, remember now we do, uh, typically we do a flow skill check objective in our campaign. Then we do our power skill check. And then next up we'll have our combat. We'll do the demo for that coming up. And then finally we have our crafting day. That is our self-care day where we will repair, upgrade, and attune our bodies. So um, thanks for joining in as I continue to build this game up and come up with the mechanics. Thank you for joining the fitness one. I hope you, if you've done it, you're a little sweaty, had some fun. 
you have any questions, shoot me a message via Twitch chat, Instagram comment, uh, YouTube comments, Instagram comment, whatever you want to use, reach out to me. Uh, I would love to help you on your health journey. So rock and roll heroes, catch you on the next adventure.